Just a small follow up uh, because I did a video how to open uh, this uh, GS Radio, it's the third generation. Um, there are a few uh, issues with this, uh, but uh, I think the main issue is that the buttons make a lot of noise and interference, cracking in the speaker. Also, the FM, AM, FM button, the switch doesn't operate properly, so mine. I, sh I would have to wiggle it, it will make a lot of noise and speaker also have to push it, wiggle it to uh, engage basically to the a FM reception. Um, um, maybe, yeah, I think I will put in the uh, end of the video, I'll put a link how to open these things, also a few other informations. Uh, but mainly um, what I did for these three switches, by the way it's power up so I need to watch my hands. I did use um, electric contact cleaner, it's just a spray. You should find it in your hardware store. And I did spray it. I did put the switch at the top and spray it at the bottom. Not too much, but just enough to get in there. Then I did switch the, uh, put the switch down and spray at the top and leave it there for a couple of seconds. Then wiggle like the, the switch, then go again. Two or three times I think is plenty enough and uh, the result basically. So um, let's see if I can turn it a little bit off. Yeah. So it works very nicely. No more noise at all. It's very stable in a a FM and uh, also it does. This is the AM. So it does stay very, very um, stable, no more noises. Sorry about that, I think the camera doesn't focus correctly, but uh, it works perfectly nicely without any problem, any noise. Um, I don't have to wiggle it to engage it to the FM. So it's really that the contacts get uh, oxidized and you need that contact cleaner. And for the bottom ones, I will repeat what I said in another video. What you want to do is just wiggle them like this make a rotation from full range perhaps for a couple of seconds minutes just enough and uh, my uh, volume button was very very poorly uh, making a lot of noise very sensitive to the touch even and right now it's uh... <laughs> It's absolutely quiet and working perfectly. You can also do the same with the spray. Let's see how to lift this thing. At the power button, you can actually lift the button. You can actually remove this button without removing anything. And you can quiet this button, uh, these knobs. You can fix these knobs just by wiggling without this without disassembly anything only for this one you need to disassemble so you can lift this power button from there just lift it it should come out without opening the case and uh let's see if i can film this yeah just behind the this is the button just behind there so the um let's just turn it off maybe so um, that's uh, your power button right there. It's uh, sitting, uh, it's, the button itself is right here a little bit below. So just spray again if you want, because this one also was uh, working more or less. Just spray inside, it will leak inside the button. Spray not too much. Uh, and then maybe uh, shake it a little bit with the power off, uh, with the cable, uh, disconnect it from, unplug it from, from the power outlet. Uh, shake it down, up and down a couple of times, put some more spray and um, if I can give you an example. It still does make a pop noise. This noise. It does make some sort of interference, but it's better than before. This one is less problematic. I think the problem is really the power button, the volume button and the FM switch. Okay, so uh, I think it was better. And check my other video. I'll link right now. Thanks.